to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'm sorry I am welcoming you to this video with this horrific bare face but today I want to talk to you about a skincare mask and I had already mentioned this mask in my Sephora haul. If you haven't watched that I will link it on the screen now so you can have a look but basically I got this mask when I went to Sephora in Milan and it was a very interesting looking mask. It's by Dr. Jart and it's basically called the Rubber Mask Hydration Lover and it seemed really interesting. Apparently it's a rubber mask, so I thought I would try it on screen with you guys and tell you what my first impressions are. So if you wanna find out more, do stay tuned, but before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you back here again. I upload it twice a week. And also don't forget to hit the little bell right next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. a hydration mask and I'm always looking for good hydration masks because basically I have really kind of dry patches around here but I also don't want them to be kind of overly oily or greasy because I do have combination skin and it does get pretty oily around the center of my face around my t-zone and I do break out quite a lot so I want something that's going to hydrate and bring the moisture back into my skin but at the same time it's not going to make it greasy or oily and I thought this one might be a good shout. So I'm gonna tell you what the mask claims to do. I've never even opened it, so I'm gonna open it on screen for the first time, so we're gonna figure this out together. I'm not quite sure how it works. So here it says that step number one is the Intensive Hydrating Care Ampoule Pack. Not quite sure what that is. And then step number two is the Rubber Mask Hydrating Wrapping Care. So it says here, the rubber mask moisturizes with its moist wrapping system. So with step number one, your moisturizing ingredients are gently absorbed into the skin. And with step number two, the rubber mask sheet prevents active ingredients from evaporating and soothes the skin. And the ingredients that strengthen the skin's moisture barrier make the skin fully moisturized. So it sounds really good. I'm quite dry around here right now, like I said. So I do need a bit of moisture brought back into my skin. With summer and the air con, sometimes my skin tends to really dry out. And I'm, and I'm actually going on a flight today, so I thought it would be a good Thing to do to kind of prep my skin for the flight because flights tend to be really dehydrating they can really dry out your skin and I don't like to do kind of skincare on the flight I'm quite lazy like that so I prefer to do it before I actually go or after I reach my destination so it says that you're supposed to first clean your face um, and I have basically already done that and then in here we have the instructions and then we have this which I am guessing is the actual rubber mask that goes on your face and then we have oops, this little thing which I think is the liquid or kind of primer that you put on your skin first and then I think you put this on top to really kind of get it to be absorbed by your skin okay so it says here first cleanse your face I've already got a clean face as you can see unfortunately um, and then I'm supposed to take in the nourishing pack, which is this. And then you're supposed to take the rubber mask and place it on your face. And then evenly press it to attach it completely and leave it on for about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so this is basically made in the US also, but it's actually a Korean skincare brand. So, And I've had really good experiences with Korean skincare before, so I'm super excited to try this one out. So I'm going to put my hair up and we're going to come straight back to apply this on camera. Okay guys, so I'm back with my hair up and I'm just going to open this first. The only annoying thing with these masks that I have to say is that they're just a one-time application which is kind of annoying because they're not exactly super cheap. I mean, I don't think this one was too expensive. I'll link the products all down below in the info box, but I think it was about maybe 10 euros or something like that. But still, you only get one application, which is kind of annoying. But I really, really love sheet masks. I have tried the ones from Mask Bar before from Boots. They're also a Korean skincare brand. I will link them below because they're amazing. I've tried the brightening one and I've tried the the collagen one and they are so amazing and again they're sheet masks you get three in those in the pack um, but obviously you can only apply the sheet mask once but they're so good and I find sheet masks super effective I don't know if it's because they kind of just kind of make the product absorb into your skin better because you've got the sheet over your face but I really really love sheet masks so this is like a white jelly type product um, and it's literally like slime you know the kind that kids used to play with um, and you do get about half of this full. 
and it's completely white so I think I need to take this and put it onto my skin so I'm literally gonna massage this into my skin and spread it all over I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes and on my lips as well because it doesn't say you need to avoid any areas and as you blend it as you put it into contact with your skin it literally becomes fluid the jelly um, and it just melts into the skin I'm gonna put it over my lips as well because my lips are really really dry so I'm just gonna blend this really nicely into the skin it smells quite citrusy um, and I really like that smell it's very fresh especially now in the summer I love kind of citrus smells it smells really really clean I really like the smell actually it's not too overpowering as well so if you don't really like scented products I don't think it would be a problem because it's not too overpowering so you do actually get quite a lot of product in there um, it says you can rub it into your neck as well but I would say that you can even kind of get it for a second application I'm not sure how well this keeps or if, but I'm going to try and keep it in the fridge and see how well it keeps I'm applying quite a good thick layer making sure it's really covering all my face especially around here I'm applying a bit more because that's where I have more kind of dehydration okay now that it's all kind of gone all over my face a little bit has already absorbed but I'm now going to take the mask and this is the mask and the mask is literally like a rubber mask but it seems to be it, the mask also seems to have some sort of serum or something on it because it feels really kind of wet so I'm going to pop this over my face. Oh my god, this is really difficult to do on camera, guys. There's two bits to the mask, one for the bottom half of your face and one for the top half. Okay, so now, I'm not going to lie, this has been a bit of a faff to apply. And I kind of need to keep it like this because otherwise it just literally slides on my face. I've pressed it in with fingers but it sticks well onto my skin. And this is like a really thin rubber. It actually feels really comfortable. Um, but it's quite slimy. So I think the rubber uh, mask also has some kind of serum product on it or something. Um, but it feels quite slimy. It sticks well onto the skin but it does kind of slide off. But it's really thin rubber, it feels really comfortable on the skin, it's not kind of tight or awkward or it doesn't kind of feel hard on your skin. It's very soft, it's very thin rubber. I'm just leave this on for about 30 minutes on now, so I'm going to leave it on and I'm going to tell you how I feel. It, at the moment it feels really fresh, the smell is really pleasant, it's not too strong and it feels really fresh on the skin and it doesn't feel kind of oily or greasy, it just feels like freshness I don't know how to explain it but this mask is kind of cooling as well so I really like how it feels on the skin so I'm gonna leave it on for 30 minutes and I will report back and let you know how I get on with it okay guys so here I am I've just taken the mask off um, and I have to say my skin feels incredible it looks a lot more luminous and a lot brighter and I almost feel like my skin feels tauter like it's been firmed up um, when I removed the mask, there was just a little bit of product still left on my skin, but very, very slight. So I just massaged that in. The mask came off super easy. Um, and I have to say, it's a super comfortable mask. It feels almost like it's not rubber. It just feels almost like a gel mask. It was very, very refreshing. There was no rubber smell. Um, and it just, I don't know, my skin feels super, super fresh. As if I'd had like eucalyptus on my skin or I'd been kind of sinking it in ice. It feels really, really fresh, really plumped really really radiant and it doesn't look or feel greasy or oily at all it just feels really matte but at the same time really glowing I'm not sure if you're quite understanding what I'm saying but I'm I don't know how well the camera is picking up the effect on my skin but it feels really moisturized really plump I don't feel like there's any dryness or like my skin's tight feels really really hydrated but at the same time it doesn't look or feel greasy or oily um, the little bit of product that was left was kind of 
quite thickish so it was really really easy you just like massaged it into my skin for a couple of seconds and it had all kind of sunk into my skin and around areas where I didn't put the gel mask like around my lips but I still applied the initial product um, they feel really hydrated but I have to say the product absorbed really really quickly but now they just feel really really hydrated and all the dry skin has come off my lips so yeah, overall, I'm super happy. I've done a little bit of research while I had my mask on. Um, and basically, the mask, I'm just going to read it off from my um, iPad that I have here. Basically, the um, mask has glycerin, aloe extra, castor oil, and jojoba oil. And it's made from a seaweed extract. Um, and that's the reason why it feels so, so fresh, apparently. And so kind of refreshing as opposed to really kind of warm which a lot of hydrating masks I think they feel because they're kind of oily they feel like they're hot on your skin and now that it's kind of warm and it's the summer you really don't want that feeling but this one feels super super refreshing basically if you go onto the Dr. Jart website they say that the um, mask is supposed to um, the algae in the mask lowers the skin temperature to cool and calm your skin um, and the lip Hydrophilic and hydrophilic actives cling to moisture the skin to the maximum benefit. So basically, those um, products are all in the initial product you apply onto your face, and then the mask that you apply on top, the rubber mask, is just kind of there to really cool and refresh your skin and really make the product sink deep into the skin so that it kind of does as much as it possibly can. Um, it has green seaweed extract, rich, it's rich in vitamin C, which is the reason why it's so brightening. Um, and the minerals uh, maintain the balance of the skin for a more hydrated and supple look. Um, and it obviously also helps with kind of plumping your skin and fine lines. And I can definitely say my skin feels plumper, brighter, and just really hydrated. So overall, I'm super, super happy with this mask. It was very comfortable, really refreshing. I really like it for the summer. Um, and it was just overall really, really nice and comfortable to have on. And I also really like how it's left my skin looking. Um, so I have saved the bit of product that I had left in the fridge. And I'll see if I can use that for a second time. Because there was definitely enough there for two times for my face. Um, and I'm going to try and save the mask, stick it onto the plastic again, and I'm not sure it'll be if it'll be as effective, but I'll definitely try and use it a second time. It was really, really good. I really liked it, and I'm super excited to try more products. I'm just so gutted that there's no Sephora in London, which means that I can't just go and pop in and look at other products from Dr. Jart. But whenever I go to the US or if I'm traveling, I'm going to Madrid now, so I'm going to go and check it out and see if they have it in the Madrid Sephora because I really want to get my hands on the other range of the masks they had. I think they had one which was like firming and one which was cleansing. So I really want to try those other rubber masks out because I really, really like how this one's left my skin looking. So that was it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a different one, but I really wanted to try out this kind of different mask on camera. Do let me know if you want me to try out other products below in the comments. And thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Bye.